racism against white people exist? Yeah, this is not real. 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 There's no way. Someone made a fake account. No one says, like, no fucking... Even racist people don't say, like, my skin color... Uh, my white skin color is the reason uh, that uh, I'm being targeted or some shit. I mean, they do, but, like... Um... I'm a racist, average racist. Holy shit, dude. Yo, that neighborhood's looking... That neighborhood's looking a lot different this now, dude. Hey, motherfucker, your neighborhood... Your neighborhood's looking real different now, brother. What happened? Tight-knit community. I found the actual mug shot. Oh yeah, that's that's what he. Yep, you got him. You guys live here. You guys live here. Better start walking. Oh, I'm sorry. Um. Yeah. Army commander's about to make this dude an E5 force. Uh, due to E5 force him to retire from his career path. He was an up and comer in the army. Also, the people that recorded it was a black neighbor that was. Uh, what the fuck? Why are these white people fucking with this black kid? Oh, okay. I, I thought his wife, like, I'm getting conflicting uh, uh, information from inside the, uh, uh, from inside the community where, like, some people are making it seem as though uh, the dude was uh, however old he was. I don't fuck. I mean, uh, the not dude, was however old he was. The, the dude's wife was re the responsible party for the filming or some shit. Uh, I don't know if that's the case. The person filmed it to be on the... Yeah, because it seems like the person filming it was uh, seemingly on the uh, thumb uh, side. Jonathan Penland has already moved for their safety. He's a drill sergeant. Uh, he was 42 years old and, uh, you know... They, they left their uh, home in Summit near Columbia after protesters gathered outside on Wednesday. Um, so let me say something. I always feel conflicted about, uh, you know, people literally protesting at people's houses because it creates a, an air of, of not feeling safe in your own home, right? I feel a little conflicted about it. But also, it's a bit of a a peaceful taste of your own medicine because that kid that he was shoving around felt unsafe. That kid that he was shoving around was very brave. Okay. Was very oh. fucking brave in that moment. And he did not feel safe at all while he was walking down his own goddamn neighborhood. And there is no, we didn't know. We don't know. I mean, he fucking punched him. He pushed him, right? We don't know what he could have done. I mean, Ahmad Arbery happened not that long ago, right? We know what happens when uh, uh, white dudes start feeling like a black person is not supposed to be in their neighborhood, right? So he was significantly less safe than he is because a large gathering, a crowd like this, is not going to fucking go in and like break into his house and like try to murder him. That's, it's, they're protesting. So him, him feeling unsafe in this situation at his home is a little bit of a taste of his own medicine uh, for, uh, for what he subjected this uh, young black kid to. What one of the signs said outside of his house, come outside, we not going to jump you. <laughs> okay. Nah, that's, it's a, uh, 
How is it less safe to have hundreds of people protesting in your front yard? What about the Capitol raid? I mean, the, the Capitol raid had inside baseball, okay? I still do think it's less safe, actually. You're, 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 uh, you're, you're, you're right about uh, people fucking potentially doing some crazy shit. In that moment, if you have people protesting outside your house, you're fucking terrified. They could literally do some shit. They could. In most of these situations, that does not happen. The likelihood that someone will do something violent in a one-to-one -one situation, especially when there's no cameras, is significantly higher than the likelihood of protesters being outside of someone's house literally fucking, uh, you know, turning violent. Because people protest outside of people's houses all the time. You rarely ever hear about those protests turning into, like, actually violent altercations. Don't, don't put any... You didn't put anything in it, right? Okay, you don't load it up because I'm, like, legitimately worried. And, and cops immediately show up too, especially. So. Uh, also in certain states like Florida, it's quite dangerous for protesters too, as uh, strong castle doctrine, stand your ground laws are, yeah. Um, all right, so where's the dude's uh, commanding officer? Oh my God, Fort Jackson commanding uh, general who is a black person. Oh my God, uh, said this is by no means condoned by any service member. We will get to the bottom of this ASAP. Oh, he is going to get fucking clapped, dude. Yet another, yet another white man losing their job for, oh shit. Yet another white man losing their job for expressing their free speech by doing hate crimes on a young African-American teenager what is America, if not a place where I should be able to freely harass black people in my neighborhood? I'm so angry. Hmm. Cancel culture has gone too far. Yeah. Tucker Carlson is going to have this dude. Tucker Carlson is going to have this dude on his uh, nightly show to be like, sir, you are the real victim here. I mean, you definitely wanted to protect your family. I mean, when, when someone that doesn't look like you tries to enter your home, you would try to fight back, right? And you had reasonable suspicion to assume that this black kid was bringing death and destruction and cultural assimilation into your neighborhood, just like the Mexicans crossing the border. I'm Tucker Carlson, and more racial agitation will be coming up after this Mike Pillow ad. Dicta dictator of Louisiana? I heard he's going to be speaking at the RNC. I don't know if you covered the shooting of the 13-year-old Adam Toledo in Chicago, but be careful browsing Twitter. The video just got released and it's horrible. I have not uh, covered it yet. Oh, uh, yeah. Genital inspection day is real in the state of Florida now, thanks to uh, the very not creepy anti-trans laws. Uh, Republicans, once again, finding a way to diddle kids. Uh, congratulations, Republicans. You did it. Uh, I think that uh, I think that the real reason why uh, this law passed was not because they hate trans people, but more so because they wanted to diddle children because Republicans are pedophiles. Sorry, it had to be said. Uh, congratulations to the Florida Republicans for being able to diddle children uh, very cool. Uh, legally. Good job. Uh, Florida House has now passed the bill banning transgender women, student athletes, and allowing for genital inspections. Dick check in, and, and pussy check is a real thing now. Very cool. I wonder if Matt Gates was uh, sponsoring this. He was probably pushing for it extra hard. Um, Florida. Uh, just, just completely fucking uh, insane. The GOP-led Florida House of Representatives on Wednesday voted 7044 along party lines to pass HB 1475, which would ban transgender female athletes from competing on women's athletic teams in both high school and college, while subjecting some student athletes to genital inspections before they can play. Obviously, as everyone knows, the only way to protect young girls who are maybe one time in their lives going to play against another young girl who happens to be trans um, 
the the only way to protect them somehow from the scourge of uh, young trans girls playing um, you know high school soccer or something is by making sure that everyone's pussies are seen by some fucking random creepy coach. Okay, it's great. Yeah, I am a small C conservative, ladies and gentlemen. I am an America loving. Small C conservative, I want minimal government, which means I want the government to make sure that your fucking kids' penises and vaginas are diddled, okay? That's what small C conservatism is about. Small government conservatism is about diddling children, okay? Great. Fucking psychos. Also called the Fairness in Women's Sports Act, the measure effectively states that student athletes who were biological males at the time of their birth cannot compete in women's athletic teams. Student athletes born biological females may still compete on male or female teams. Huh. That's interesting. According to the legislation, uh, disputes regarding a student's sex under the law would be resolved with a health examination and consent from uh, verifying the student's biological sex. Trans people dominate women's sports is literally a falsehood. This is not true. It's never been true. And the only reason why you go back to like the one instance where one trans woman, Fallon Fox, punched another cis woman and broke their orbital bone, which is a common fucking injury, uh, back in like 2016, and then got their shit pushed in like numerous times afterwards, is the only reason why you have to rush to that one singular instance is because it's not as fucking... Uh, it's not as common as you make it seem. Or whatever, orbital or whatever the fuck the bone is. I don't know. It's like a, like a bone that breaks, uh, much easily. It is orbital bone, isn't it? Like, I know Joe Rogan has talked about, like, uh, fucking how, how dominating and devastating, uh, Fallon Fox was. What about the imaginary example I made up in my head? Yes, most of that relies on that. That's precisely why, fun fact. Uh, here, I'll give you some facts. Uh, first and foremost, whenever these sorts of issues issues are, are manufactured in America, they can never find actual fucking examples of like young trans athletes dominating. They literally cannot find it. Like they can't. They look and they can't find a single person who's like, I really think this is devastating. Okay? Not only that, but here's another fun fact. Maybe not so fun. Do you guys want to know? Because people always say, like, uh, trans athletes are doing this because uh, they're not actually fucking trans, but instead they're faking it. They're faking being trans so they can win college scholarships. Do you want to know the number of trans athletes that have secured college scholarships on sports, like sports scholarships? Go ahead. Yes. Yeah, motherfucker. Zero. Zero trans athletes. So where is this gigantic fucking problem that uh, conservatives are talking about? Who the fuck would subject themselves to so much scrutiny where every part of their goddamn existence, every part of their goddamn existence is like scrutinized and, and they're vilified for just simply being trans just so they can, what, get one fucking uh, uh, female scholarship, maybe? I've talked about this a lot, guys. The saddest, most pathetic part about this is conservatives and shitlords on the internet... Uh, pathetic conservatives and shitlords on the internet making it seem as though they give a single fucking shit about high school women's sports or women's sports in general, okay? Come on, bro. It's just transphobia. You literally just don't want trans people to compete. That's it. Because, like, what? Then you want a trans man to fucking compete against women? Is that what you want? You want a trans man who is, uh, uh, is taking hormones 
and, and undergoing hormone therapy to, to compete against uh, cis women? Because that is significantly worse. A trans man would have to compete with cis women because a trans man is biologically a, a, a woman at birth, right? No one cares about this shit. They don't even fucking cover that element of it. They don't give a shit. Like, they, it's just not a real thing. It's just fear-mongering, and uh, people using this, uh, people, fear-mongering and people using this as an opportunity to, like, shit on trans people and, like, draw, uh, uh, it, it draw, like, some sort of fucking battle line. The funny part is that allowing trans men to the women's sports are gonna fucking dominate in the way that they think trans women would. I understand the standpoint, but if you're already established, lady in life and gender will be overpowered by biological males. That's not true, though. Like, the fucking, the, the evidence is not clear on what you are making up there, okay? Like, that's why people rush to, like, uh, ridiculous shit, like, well, uh, what about disc throwing? Uh, I'm sorry. What about the one trans, uh, what about the one trans woman who is like a, a professional? What's the, what's the sport that Canadians play where they're like a sweep and then there's like that curling? Is it curling? Where they like a uh, sweep in front? What about bocce ball? What about my, yeah. What about my competitive bocce ball where there's a trans woman in the, in the competitive bocce ball field uh, league and, and, uh, you know, she dominates everybody. It's like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? I thought the argument was about this, like, insanely commonplace fucking problem of like trans girls beating the shit out of cis girls in high school co uh, competition in like soccer and 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 uh, basketball and shit like that all of a sudden you're like if you're talking about fucking competitive bocce ball or uh competitive curling you've already lost the fucking plot what happened uh sorry uh, I couldn't find enough compelling evidence. Uh, I looked through the the uh, many different conservative uh, forums to find compelling empirical evidence that shows uh, beyond anecdotes that like trans women are dominating uh, in the in all the fields that they're in. So I'm going to talk about my personal anecdote from 2014 when uh, a, a trans athlete destroyed my uh, bocce ball, uh, my fe all female bocce ball competition. Like, okay, all right, I guess you fucking yeah, just. Jail all trans people then, because uh, you're scared. It's just so stupid. You don't give a shit. You don't. You don't care. You do not care about women's sports. You literally laugh about women's sports all the time. You treat the WNBA as a fucking joke. If you truly cared about women's sports, you would want to make sure that female athletes get paid competitive wages, okay? If you truly cared about women's sports, you would ensure that female athletes also get the same kind of fucking scouting and, and R&D and, and the many benefits that male athletes often get as far as, like, uh, development programs, but you don't. You don't care about any of this shit. You just fucking hate trans people, and that's it. And motherfuckers are such pussies, dude. They literally just can't be like, I hate trans people, and I don't want them to fucking compete in sports because I find that their, their existence threatens all the social conditioning that I have... Uh, I have learned throughout years where I feel like my identity is deeply tied to my fucking uh, rigorous or uh, rigid understanding of gender as a binary construct. That's it. That's literally the reason. You just fucking hate trans people. That's it. Like, don't be a pussy. Don't act like it's because of um, some honorable fucking goal, dude. It's not. That's not the reason, though. Yeah, yeah, no, you, you, it's like, uh, you know, Gamergate is about fucking restoring honor in journalism media, and, uh, and, and it wasn't about, like, fucking harassing whoever the fuck you could and, and get away with it and, like, develop Sargon of Akkad's career. Just like, uh, you know, this is, uh, this has an honorable cause behind it. It's to, it's to restore the sanctity of, of, uh, uh softball leagues in high school. Shut the fuck up, bitch.
Get the fuck out of here, dude. Really? Seriously, get the fuck out of here. Uh, in a little bit. <sighs> anyway. Oh, I, yeah, no, I'm just getting mad. I'm, I'm riling myself up, like, looking at this story. Seriously, take off the hat? Take off hat, please. Please take off. Take off hat now. Slow down, chat. Oh, shut the fuck up, weirdo. Yeah. Peace, brother. Thank you for this. Can't wait to wear it. Hopefully it fits well. I'll be letting you know if it doesn't. I'm going to be honest with you. It's fucking better. All right. I've talked about transports so many times now. So many fucking times. Okay. I, I don't know what else to say that I haven't fucking said a million times over. Nobody gives a shit about this. They're just doing it for fucking transphobia. And the only victim of this situation has always been and will continue to be trans boys and trans girls in high school that are going to get fucking, uh, that are going to get uh, further bullied and otherized when all they want to do is fucking fit in and live normal goddamn lives. And I guess in the state of Florida, there is now a legal justification for diddling children uh, as, as though the state of Florida needed further legal justification for diddling children. Jeffrey Epstein, Matt Gates, holy fucking shit, dude. Congratulations to Matt Gates on a yet another legal victory. Update, Chicago's released a body cam video of police killing 13-year-old Adam Toledo. The video shows Adam had his hands up when the police opened fire, killing him. Cook County announces prosecutor made an error when they said Adam was holding a gun. Um, police originally in Chicago, famously known for being uh, one of the most understanding and uh, woke police uh, departments. Uh, you know... Claimed that there was a uh, armed confrontation originally and shot him in the chest. Mayor says she saw no evidence whatsoever that Toledo shot at the police. And there's so many accidental errors that just keep happening, dude. It's crazy. Uh, just fucking crazy, dude. Fucking crazy. Screenshot from the video right before being shot. No gun, hands up, not graphic. Dude, I kind of don't want to show this regardless. Article that details the video without showing it. <sighs> yeah. Immediately after commanding Toledo to show his hands, the officer shot the boy at close distance. Toledo's hands were raised when he was shot. The footage shows. Um, the video was has been released as of uh, earlier today uh, in Chicago, where a police officer fatally shot 13-year-old Adam Toledo as he raised his hands in a little village alley on March 29th. The video comes from uh, body cameras worn by police uh, when an officer fatally shot Toledo on March 29th in Little Village. The Civilian Office of Police Accountability, which is investigating the shooting, also released third-party video transmission from the city's Office of Emergency Communications, shot spotter recordings, case incident information, and tactical response and arrest reports. Mayor Lori Lightfoot, the Toledo family's attorneys, and local leaders have asked people to remain peaceful as the footage is released. I fucking doubt that they will because it is incredibly damning. A 13-year-old boy is asked to raise their hands. He raises his hands, and then subsequently he gets shot in the fucking chest. The attorneys did not disclose what the family saw in the video, but they say they're conducting their own investigation into his death. Um, 
Officer flashing a uh, officer flashes a strobe flashlight at Toledo and says, Hands, show me your fucking hands. The body camera footage appears to show Toledo standing near the fence with a gun in his hand, holding it behind his back. Immediately after commanding Toledo to show his hands, the officer shot the boy at close distance. Toledo's hands were raised when he was shot. The footage shows. Toledo collapsed into the parking lot as the officer walks up to him and radios for backup and an ambulance. The footage shows. Footage released by police does not show Toledo point or raise the gun at the officer at the conclusion of the chase. Toledo does not appear to be holding the gun as an officer shot him, though the video does cl not clearly show him dropping the gun. For those of you who don't uh, want to watch the video. The conclusion of the foot chase uh, to the fatal shooting happened only in one second, said Brendan Deanahan, police department chief of defect detectives. Release of the footage will show just how quickly the incident unfolded, he said. After the officer shot Toledo, he walked towards the boy and radio for backup and an ambulance. The footage shows, look at me, look at me, you all right, where you shot, the officer says to Toledo, who is unresponsive. The officer lifts up Toledo's sweatshirt to look for a wound and tells the boy, stay with me. The officer radios for someone to bring him a medical kit. Responding officers and the officer who shot Toledo then begin to treat the 13-year-old, performing CPR on the boy. The officer who shot Toledo walks away from the scene by himself. Minutes later, a police supervisor radios in. To the, to the officers on scene to turn their body cameras off. That was the wonderful part about it. If I'm not mistaken, a, a cop came in and was like, turn your body cameras off and separate. Copa initially said it would not release the videos of the shooting due to Toledo's age, but amid mounting pressure, the agency reversed course and said it would release the videos within 60 days. The office first invited Toledo's family to watch the videos, which they did Tuesday. If the police... Oh, that was... Sorry, that was what Kim Potter uh, did. Kim Potter, who murdered uh, Dante Wright as a commanding officer responding to a police shooting, literally told the two cops to immediately turn their body cameras off and separate from one another. Fuck, I'm mixing up my stories. Sorry. Wrong murder. Uh, that was a murder that Kim Potter was responding to as a commanding officer. Uh, then she herself murdered Dante Wright recently this week. So. I want to be a good feminist, but boys in teen schools always call boys sims when they defend girls. What? That's not, it's not the right time. Okay. Um, anyway, I, uh, there's not more information that I want to talk about here, but, uh, he was a seventh grader in element Gary elementary school was laid to rest on Friday. His family thanked little village community members of the out for the outpouring of support they've received since his death. Lightfoot said she has seen the video. She would not comment on what they show, though she said Toledo did not shoot at any police officers. The murderer of Dante Wright was involved in the shooting also? No, Dante Wright's murderer was uh, involved in another shooting in uh, Minnesota in 2019. So the shooting that I was describing uh, is, is separate. Can't call it murder because it's only alleged right now? What? No, I can call it whatever the fuck I want, you dumb fuck. What? What do you mean it's only alleged right now? A cop fucking drops a 13-year-old kid whose hands are in the air and I call that murder and you're like, uh, I don't know, I think we need to have a semantics argument here. What are you, fucking stupid? It's 100% murder. It's the murder of a child. Okay? He murdered a child.
Well, then you're not being accurate. It says, say no to Cuomo. You know, sometimes I can't tell if it's a lefty that says, like, say no to Cuomo because we fucking hate Cuomo here in this community. But it's probably some dumbass, brain dead, absolutely fucking straight up smooth brain conservative worm who uh, has this point of view. And it, it literally is quit GPA, man. Still ACAP, guys? ACAP, anyone? Yes, five star hotels. Bachelor's degree. Why is it dumb? Call of food, dude. Minus one. Yeah, you might as well end. Hope. Let's hope that, you know, that uh, alleged murder never happens to you or your fucking uh, children by uh, the hands of the police. And then people turn around and defend the, your murderers. Okay? Idiot. What are you, a judge? Yeah, I have to be a judge to fucking, uh, you know... Are you threatening him? See, this is the funniest part about this. Motherfucker, he literally is taking this so lightheartedly. Why would that be considered a threat if it's not literal murder? Like, what? How, how do you flip that narrative so quickly? It's like, if you're the one who's saying like, well, it's not murder, it's just the end of life, and allegedly there could be a murder there, and I say, well, I hope it doesn't happen to you then, uh, and then have someone else fucking defend it, defend your alleged murderers, you go all of a sudden and script, uh, flip the script so quick. You're like, whoa, 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 dude, that's a threat. You're literally murdering him with your words, dude. So what the fuck happened? So it is actually a fucked up thing. Okay, got it. Dude, I can't believe it's just genocide, dude. I'm sorry, that murder that you watched on video is allegedly a murder, but what you just did is literal fucking genocide. So, sorry. Anyway. Even the news is still saying that he may have had a weapon in his hand, even though you can clearly see in the video that there's nothing in his hand when he put him up. Bro, even if he literally had a fucking deadly weapon in his hand, even if he was an adult, even if he had actually murdered someone, cops are not supposed to fucking murder you back when... Like, when you have a gun and you drop it and you put your hands up. That's like, come on, dude. It's, it's a clear-cut violation that even fucking role-play uh, cops know, okay? If someone is following your commands and is ready to be apprehended, you don't fucking execute them because that's not how the law works. I don't like people covering crimes like it's some sort of show. This includes you. I think it's better not to say that this is a murder before everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Even this guy. Dude, shut the fuck up, dude. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Dude, like, let me tell you something, okay? I am the judge, jury, and executioner, motherfucker. On this broadcast, I'm the judge, the jury, and the executioner. You dumb fuck. You say some dumb shit, I'm gonna clap you. I'm just letting you know. And if you like the boot so much that you would swallow it whole, then I will show you what it's like in a much, much less significant and much less serious way. If you're going to sit here and defend cops playing judge, jury, and executioner in the instance of a 13-year-old boy being brutally massacred, then go ahead. Enjoy your fucking permanent ban. It's nowhere near as severe as the things that you are defending, but I'll give you a little taste of it. Like, what technicality are you getting off on there? I report the news from my own personal point of view.
In the instance of a 13-year-old boy being brutally massacred by police officers, they did not offer him innocent until proven guilty. They murdered him. Okay? He's now dead. A fucking 13-year-old child is now dead. And then, not only did they murder him, but they tried to, in the best fucking CPD way possible, cover it up. As they have done time and time again. And failed to do so. They murdered a 7th grader. The uh, officers told them to shut off their body cameras. And then they tried to claim that the kid, the 7th the seventh grader, the 13 year old, had a fucking gun in his hands and actually was pointing it at the cops. As though that's justification. As though that is justification for what you probably did not watch. Anyway, <sighs> you react the news. Oh, I do. And you sit here and you watch and you get so angry and you've gotten so fucking worked up for the past seven months that like this child murder is the moment where you want to speak out and like, uh, I guess, uh, offer criticism. My man's always defending killers. What? What? I think you're confused, dude. Never mind. I'm not going to ban this person. I, I don't know what the fuck's going on in his brain. I'm just going to let it... I'm just going to let it go. Okay. Gates and other members are showing each other stuff on their phones. Matt Gates is currently sitting in the house chamber with a posse. Eight members sitting, standing around him. Many talking to him. Oh, God. I don't want to know what the fuck is on that phone, dude. Anyway. Okay. Um, I think I've done enough, uh, if, if, if fucking brutal, uh, coverage. Did I run another ad at the top of the hour? Uh, I forgot to run a second ad at the, uh, top of the hour, right? At, uh, one. I don't think I did. I did. Friends merch was the ad. Motherfucker, I didn't run an ad. Why are people saying your friends merch was the ad? It wasn't. I'm going to run one minute ad break right now. Sorry. Uh, and we're going to move on to a guy in fucking... Oh, no, I'm not going to do Berlin's rent cap. I'm going to do a uh, a guy in uh, Chicago thinks he's uh, in Grand Theft Auto video. If you no longer want to see the uh, ads, uh, obviously you can subscribe. Uh, you can subscribe for free or uh, with a $5 subscription. You can do it for free by um, connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch gaming account. You get one free Prime subscription a month. Here's the ad now. Sorry. And this is the video. Daytona Beach police are searching for the person who drove through a drawbridge crossing arm and jumped the bridge as it was raising in the air.
it's not as cool as like I thought it was going to be, you know what I mean? I thought it would be cooler. I mean, he got like barely any fucking air, dude. I don't know what's going on. I think I have like a problem with uh blood pressure. Shattered the windshield. Yeah, windshield smash for a two inch jump. Yeah, he's fucked now. That's a lot of money that he has to spend. Fuck this. This person should be given a medal. Uh, this should not be punished. I mean, you should be given a medal for being the most Florida man you can be. Motherfuckers be like, Florida is not like Grand Theft Auto. Bitch, Florida is worse than Grand Theft Auto, okay? What is this? I hate Michael Rappaport. <laughs> Okay, never mind. This is cute. Oh my god, dude. Monkeys are awesome. Were you expecting this? Yes. Literally, yes. Last turn, last turn. Just not how cars work? Okay, shut up! Shut up! Why would you spoil a fucking... a masterpiece, motherfucker? I mean, the most insane part about that is that, like, she's... racing in a fucking drop top, like... Like, who the fuck... It just... That's just a... That's just a recipe for murder, okay? You're you're literally trying to die. I can smell you. Yo, Jimmy, hit it, baby. Hit it. I think this might have been the last uh, Fast and the Furious movie I watched. Hey, y'all see that? Told y'all I had a surprise. It was like draw too like fast, that? draw oh, too now. furious. <laughs> I'm too fast for y'all, man. Like that was the that was the song, right? For this. And then Tokyo Drift. Was Tokyo Drift after this or before this? Oh, then I did see Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift is the last one I saw. Wait, what the fuck? How did he not die? Oh, what a pussy, dude. He couldn't do it. Man, uh, that's sick, dude. That's some classic American cinema right there, boys. Oh, does he die in the movie? 
We're not talking about fucking... We're not talking about Paul Walker in real life. This is kind of fucked up, chat. Now the franchise is this? The world has a way of changing. Oh. <laughs> and we change too. I know some people, they would die for me. There are moments that separate us. But we always come back together. What the fuck? We heard y'all needed a little love out here. <laughs> y'all ever thought about the wild missions we've been on? We've taken out planes, trains. Bro, you guys are all like 55 years old, dude. Like, at this, at what point does this turn? This is turned into cars, okay? This is turned into Pixar's cars at this point. What the fuck is happening, dude? Tanks. I'm not going to even think about the submarine. And now we got cars flying in the air. Who is he? Jacob is. Oh my God. Dumb's brother. Been a long time, Dom. Little brother. You always say never turn your back on family, but you turned your back on me. Now your little family is in my world. What the fuck is this movie, dude? What is this movie, dude? I'm losing it. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, this is so stupid. This is so fucking... This is so incredible. I take it back, dude. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, no, 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 no. I was wrong, dude. I just, I didn't realize it was like that. I didn't realize we got to run that line again. Brother, you always say never turn your back on family, but you turned your back on me. Dude, holy shit. Are you ready? Whatever's on you. Is you ready? It's on us. Are you ready? He's got his own private army. We need help. Wait, what's he got? Wait, what's he got? Wait, what's he got? No way. Is you ready? Oh, whole squad ready. So how do y'all want to play this? Fast. We going home. <laughs> 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 oh, it's so dumb, dude. What the fuck? How do y'all want to play this? Fast. Uh huh. I'm furious. Oh, God. It's so good. Okay, this is a bad time to mention this, but I don't drive. <laughs> Brother against brother. This should be interesting. But could you kill him? You bite for me, would you die? So what happened? Does this mean that like the Rock lost the battle ultimately, and like Vin Diesel won, and he kept the uh, he basically like kept his uh, honor and and the franchise or some shit like. Yes, it's the Dame Helen Mirren, or however you say it. Literally, they kept going with the same plot. No, Hobbs and Shaw is a spinoff series now? Wait, really? Vin Diesel has owned the franchise for years? <laughs> you literally cannot... You literally... Azana, 13-year-old was executed by the CPD. Why are you not furious? You're right, dude. After covering that for the past hour... I should maintain, uh, like, I should literally, for the rest of the day, uh, fucking stop doing anything else, dude. You're right. Like, I, I already just, I, I, I just covered it. Like, I, I'm, I'm trying to move on. Uh, I, I think that there are other uh, people here as well who are also trying to, I don't know, go about their daily lives. Uh, maybe lighten up on the, uh, doom scrolling. Uh, I don't know what else to say. The Rock kind of owns it now, actually. I mean, surprisingly, I mean, that's not surprising. The Rock owns everything, don't they? they I mean, he's literally like. Okay, sorry. 
Crank it all the way up. Get back! We the soldiers. Man, we messing with magnets now? If you woke, don't wake up. Whoa. Get back in front. Yeah, everything we gave up. Even when we die, we raise up. Yeah! It's good to be back. We got no white flag and no tree. We got the product. We got the tools. We supposed to stop that? Hold on! We going wild. Well. We on the loose. We for the slide. We are the truth. Yes! I love, like... I love... 55 year old Vin Diesel still rocking his Tims and wearing fucking cut sleeve t-shirts as he like as he fucking I don't know makes like car acrobatics for for 11 movies in a franchise dude it's it's awesome <laughs> I spent my entire life in your shadow and now you spend the rest of yours <laughs> Living in mine. We go on wild. We on, we on, we on, we on the loose. Not today. We are the loose. Really? Drug tape? You acting like we on our way to Home Depot. Hunter! No, Ted! Ah! I don't want to die! You know this movie would whack, but still make a uh, bank at the box office? I just like... Hall of Fame line read? I remember everything about my father. I remember everything about my father. I remember everything about my father. What? What happened? Did he have an aneurysm mid-read? Like, what happened? <laughs> what the fuck's he saying? I remember everything about my father. Okay. Do yourself a favor and watch this fucking franchise. I've seen Tokyo Drift was the last one I watched, I think. I, I never... Yeah, Tokyo Drift was one I checked out. I think I grew up after that. I don't know what happened, like... I wonder if you know... Tokyo, I stand for your Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Hey, hey, fast and furious. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, that was that was it, dude. That that's like that's the last. Yeah. If you live in Tokyo, then you need to let me know. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, dude! You stopped watching after you lost your virginity? No, no, no. I, I, this was before that. Um, they are the ultimate take your brain out and watch the pretty visuals and insane CGI stunts. I just don't, I don't know. I mean, it's like, it's whatever. Hitman's wife's bodyguard. What? Motherfuckers will watch Tenet, but not Fast and the Furious franchise, but will consider themselves a film guy. Oh, you know, Tenet could catch these hands. Like I have, dude. I am an equal opportunity shitter. I, I've made fun of I've made fun of tenants so much, like not bad for a cop. Wait, they can't even look at each other. I never thought I'd trust a criminal. Till next time. Till next time. Wait, what? I don't know why you need logic in a Fast and Furious movie. John Wick makes no sense, but people drool over it. No, there is no logic. Um, I think they edited that. Wait, what? Like, wait, I'm confused. Like, is this, was this a scene? They didn't film together because they hate each other. Why? Because like Vin Diesel's bent that the rock out of nowhere came out of fucking nowhere and became like the most successful like uh testosterone guy out there to ever do it. Is that why? It's like a thumb war. Like who looks more like a cop? I really hate that you look more like a cop. 
No, I hate that you look more like a cop. It's like, there can only be one alpha, bro. There can only be one alpha, bro. Bro, don't fucking start with me, bro. I'm the only alpha here, bro. No, I'm the only alpha, motherfucker. Like, that's what they did? Are you going to see Black Adam? You guys want to hear some... Okay, I, I think I can say it now. Because it's coming out. I did a read for Black Adam. They asked me to do one. Yeah, I never, I never, uh, I was fucking, it was a secret at the time, but now it's like, I, I didn't get it, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Not like for a main role at all, it, but it was pretty tight. Like, they asked for me to do it. Like, I don't know why. Shouts out to the fucking producer who's in my audience, I guess. Stop fucking with us? Are you memeing? No, no, no. Literally. I mean, I, I don't want to reveal anything else. Um, because, uh, I don't know what is, like, NDA, what's not. But, yeah. But I didn't talk about it. It was fucking a while ago. I, I didn't, uh... I didn't... I didn't talk about it, uh, for a while, but now that the movie's, like, slated to come out... And shit. Were you taking it seriously? I took it seriously. What meme did you just... Did you just take my phone? Chat, sniper, power gamer, viewers plus 500, chat canceled. Sir, you'll get it back when you... Was that the day that you said you were doing something for Hollywood? Yeah. I know you're lying, LMFAO. No, I... Not related, but Buddha was talking about you taking a break from RP. Is that true? No, I'm not fucking taking a break from RP. Have you listened to Vin Diesel's album? Oh, the thing I was going to say about Vin Diesel is, like, uh, low-key, though, uh, Riddick is, is fucking awesome. Like, I don't give a shit about Fast and Furious and whatever. I'm glad that, like, he's making money. Uh, but, like, it's undeniable that, uh, that Riddick was an incredible franchise, and I loved it, and... Hello everyone, this is yeah. your Daily Dose of Internet. A monitor lizard entered a store in Thailand and started trashing the place. <laughs> I was wrong about Riddick. He traded the cameo from Tokyo Drift for the Riddick franchise. Do you know if you're going to be in the movie? Guys, I read for a... I was asked to do a read for a potential role in the Black Adam movie. Okay. Um, it's good because, like, when, when people ask you... Uh, to do a role that's because they like you okay um i did not get it obviously otherwise i would be filming right now it doesn't mean i was cast i'm also a dog shit at acting if you haven't seen it and uh this is part of the reason why i don't tell you guys anything i probably should have not even told you anything re regardless that means you should start auditioning no i'm really bad Have you ever met anyone in LA who's played in Vin Diesel's long-running D&D group? He's a committed role player and got a tattoo of one of his characters. Shut the fuck up. Oh god. Biden is live. Oh fuck, dude. Fuck Biden is live, dude. Fuck it, dude. Let's go watch a geriatric talk about the same shit over and over again, dude. Fuck me. Never mind, boys. No fun allowed, okay? Because our fucking motherfuckers who love politics can't get enough, dude. Three hours and they're still like, no, dude, I need you to fucking brutalize me with Joseph Robinette fucking Biden, dude. Let's go! Joe Biden is live, bro. Thank you.
The most poggers part about that is that he's alive, actually, and he still hasn't fucking died because he's so goddamn old.